Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to do Sarah Connor. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, Sharpie, or crayon. Now, first of all, I'm gonna draw the top of her head with an arch curve line across. Turn it downwards on both sides. And for the brim of her head, I'm gonna draw from the right corner an arch curve line to the left. Turn it diagonally down on the left side, all the way to the lower part of the head. Below that curve line on the left corner, I'm gonna draw a line across to the right, slightly downwards. Same as a turn upwards in the middle point. An arch curve line across to the right, turn it back downwards on the right side. Same as you could turn upwards and turn it to the left. Now, below her cap on the right, I'm gonna draw her glasses with a circular shape at that corner right there. And inside of that, I'm gonna draw another circular shape along the edges. Copy the whole thing on the left side. Now in between of the frame, I'm gonna draw an arch curve line in the middle point right there and another similar curve line slightly below that. For her nose, below that, I'm gonna draw a line downwards on the right corner. And for the tip of the nose, Below that line, in the middle, I'm going to draw a U-curve line. At the side of that, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards on both the left and right. Below the glasses on the right, I'm going to draw the shape of her face with a curve line downwards. Turn it slightly inwards to the left, same as I could turn diagonally downwards to the side of her chin. Curve line across on her chin, turn it back diagonally upwards on the left side of her face. Same as you could turn back upwards on the left corner right there. On the left side of that ending point, I'm going to her ear with curve line outwards to the left. Turn it upwards, same as you could turn arch curve line across to the right and turn it slightly downwards. At the side of her glasses on the left, I'm going to draw a line across to the ear, slightly upwards, and another similar line slightly above that. Now for her mouth, I'm going to draw below the nose a curve line across from the left corner all the way to the right. And from the same corner, I'm going to draw her upper lips with diagonal curve line across to the right slightly upwards, same as you could turn back downwards in the middle point, mirror the same shape of the lips on the right side right there. For the lower lips, I'm gonna take the same corner and draw a diagonal curve line downwards, same as you could turn across to the right, same as you could turn back diagonally upwards on the right side of the mouth. Below her head on the left, I'm going to her neck with a line downwards. Same as you could turn outwards to the left. On the right side, another line downwards below the chin. And at that ending point, I'm going to draw her shoulder pad with a curve line diagonally across from the right to the left and downwards. Same as you could turn to the right at this lower point. And from the ending point above, arch curve line across to the right and turn it slightly downwards. Curve line across to the right. Arch curve line across to the right. Turn it downwards. On the left side of that ending point, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line outwards to the right and down. And above her shoulder, I'm gonna draw an arch curve line on the right corner, right there. Turn it diagonally downwards to the left, same as could turn to the left. 
in the middle point of the shoulder pad right there I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape and another rectangular shape above that above that whole thing I'm gonna draw from the left corner diagonal curve line upwards to the upper point of the shoulder pad and another similar curve line on the right side right here in between the two lines I'm gonna draw two lines across at this lower point along the side of the shoulder pad I'm gonna trace the same edge at this inner corner on the left and I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side right here now for the arm below the ending point of the shoulder I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards and slightly to the right flare it back outwards to the right so I'm just going to turn diagonally in and to the left For the inner line of the arm, I'm going to draw a similar diagonal curve line downwards on the left corner right here And at the elbow point, diagonal curve line to the left and slightly downwards From the wrist, I'm going to turn it across to the left I'm just going to turn diagonally down and below that ending point diagonal line across to the left and downwards curve line across to the right turn it back diagonally upwards on the right corner repeat the same shape of the fingers across to the right and at the side of the hand extend it diagonally up to the right and turn it inwards towards her wrist below her shoulder pad I'm gonna draw on the right corner curve line downwards so I'm just gonna turn to the right and to the side of her arm below the shoulder pad on the left a line downwards below the buckle on the left right there and another line downwards on the right side below that ending point I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally to the right and slightly downwards curve line downwards at the side of her arm right there and turn it inwards at the lower point across to the right curve line upwards and slightly out and turn it back inwards at the upper corner and inside of that shape curve line diagonally down to the right same as a turn downwards, same as a turn back to the left. On the left side of that set of line, I'm gonna trace the same line again, like that. And inside of that, I'm gonna draw a small circle on the right corner. On the right side, I'm gonna draw a small rectangular shape right there. Repeat the whole pouch shape at this lower point now that for the left shoulder pad I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards at the base of her neck same is the turn to the left and from the side of her neck, I'm going to draw an arch curve line across to the left, across to the left, an arch curve line, turn it downwards, so I'm just going to turn back to the right at the lower point. In the middle point right there, I'm going to repeat the same shape as her right shoulder with two rectangular shapes like that curve line upwards on both sides above the buckle and two lines across in the middle point along the edge of the shoulder pad I'm going to trace the same set of curve line at this inner corner below the buckle a line downwards on both the left and right and below that ending point I'm going to draw her pouch with a curve line out to the left curve line downwards turn it back inwards at the lower point across to the right turn it back upwards at that corner 
along the edge of that curved line I'm gonna trace the same set of line this upper corner and on the left corner and at this lower point on the right side of the shape a small circle on the left corner right there on the left side of that a small rectangular shape at that corner and I'm gonna repeat the whole pouch shape at this lower point on the right side of the pouch below the buckle on her shoulder pad I'm gonna extend that line downwards on the right side turn it diagonally to the right and downwards below that ending point I'm gonna draw a small rectangular shape and in between the two pouch on both the left and right side I'm gonna draw a strap in the middle at the lower point with curve line across to the middle and I'm gonna leave a gap in the middle point and at that gap I'm gonna draw a small rectangular shape now for the color of her inner shirt in between the shoulder pad on both the left and right I'm gonna draw a curve line across at this upper corner and another similar curve line slightly below that below her pouch I'm gonna draw her first belt with the buckle in the middle and a rectangular shape at that corner and inside of that at the upper corner off center I'm gonna draw a diagonal line downwards and slightly to the right across to the right turn it back diagonally upwards on the right side mirror the whole thing at this lower point at the side of the buckle I'm gonna draw a curve line across for the upper line of her belt to her waist and another similar curve line at this lower point a line downwards at the ending point on the right Repeat the same shape of the belt on the left corner. Inside of the belt, I'm gonna draw two lines downwards at the side of her buckle on the left, and inside of that, in the middle point, a small circular shape. On the right side, I'm gonna repeat that same set of shape again, and on the right side of that, another one at that corner. In between those shapes, I'm going to draw a curve line across at this upper corner and another one at the lower point, like that. Below the first belt, in the middle point, I'm going to draw a small circular shape and below that, I'm going to draw the buckle of her second belt with a line upwards on the left corner sideways to the right turn it downwards sideways to the right downwards sideways to the left downwards sideways to the left upwards to the right turn it all the way upwards and sideways to the left on the left side of the buckle I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner now for the upper line of her belt, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line across to that rectangular shape and another one at the lower line of the belt. I extend that line beyond the rectangular shape on the left, a line upwards on the left corner. On the left side of the buckle, I'm going to draw a small circular shape in the middle point right there and another circular shape above it and another one below that for the right side of the belt I'm gonna draw another similar rectangular shape on the right corner right there and for the belt I'm gonna repeat the same curve line diagonally up to the right side of her waist a line downwards on both ending point on the left and right on the right side of the buckle, I'm going to draw a line downwards right there, sideways at the lower point and at the upper corner, turn it downwards at the upper corner, and turn it upwards at the lower corner. Inside of the belt on the right, I'm going to draw the same tree circular shape at that corner, 
and another one on the right corner right here below her belt on the left I'm going to her pants with curve line diagonally downwards and to the left turn it back slightly inwards towards her knee point flare it out with curve line on her knee point and turn it back inwards below that curve line downwards flare it back out and same as the turn back inwards to the right curve line across to the right flare it out at the inner corner of the leg right there same as turn back inwards curve line up same as turn diagonally in curve line upwards and slightly inwards to the back of her knee and above that diagonal curve line back upwards and to the middle of her leg curve line across in the middle of her leg right there on the left side of her left thigh I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner and for the right leg I'm gonna repeat the same shape and on her thigh a rectangular shape at that corner And inside of that rectangular shape, on the left corner, a line downwards right there. Continue the line of her leg downwards, below that, flare it out on her knee to the right with a curve line, same as it could turn back inwards. Below that, curve line downwards and slightly flare it out, same as it could turn back inwards, curve line across to the left, same as it could turn upwards and turn it back inwards curve line upwards and turn it inwards towards her knee flare it back outwards at the side of her knee and inwards curve line diagonally back upwards to the middle of her leg now for her boots I'm gonna draw curve line downwards below the pants turn it slightly inwards towards her ankle point and flare it back outwards below the ankle point curve line to the right and to the middle and mirror the same shape of the boots on the outer corner on the right right here curve line across in the middle point below that I'm gonna draw a short line downwards on both the left and right curve line across at the base of the boots above the base of the boots I'm gonna draw an arch curve line across now inside of the boots at the upper corner I'm gonna draw a crisscross knots right there and repeat that shape downwards all the way to the front tip Now for the left boots, I'm going to draw a similar curve line downwards, turn it inwards towards her ankle point, flare it back outwards on the right corner and curve line downwards. For the left side, same as you could turn diagonally to the left, same as you could turn downwards at the front tip of the boots, curve line across to the back on the right right there and below that a short line downwards on both the front tip and the heels right there curve line across from the front tip of the shoe for the base turn it slightly upwards turn it downwards in the middle point and curve line across to the right for the front tip of the shoe I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards on the left corner and crisscross knots along the left side of the boots from the upper corner all the way to the front tip. Now for her left arm, on the left side of the shoulder pad, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards, turn it inwards, and below that ending point, 
a diagonal curve line out and down to her elbow point and flare it out below the elbow point and turn it back inwards towards her wrist. For the inline of the arm, I'm gonna repeat the same set of curve line and mirror it on the right side right here. And on her wrist, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner. Below that rectangular shape, on the right, I'm gonna draw a curve line down, play it slightly out, turn it downwards, same as you could turn back upwards on the left corner. Sharp turn diagonally down to the left. Turn it downwards. Turn it diagonally to the right. Same as you could turn back diagonally up. Same as you could turn up. And on the left side of that, diagonal line upwards at that corner. Turn it upwards to the rectangular shape on her wrist. Now for her ponytail, at the side of her jaw on the left, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line down and to the left, turn it downwards. On the right side of that, I'm gonna draw a line downwards at that corner. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.